You ready? <laughs> you can't do any trouble. So a kapodis, right? I just saw an article uh, by Eliyahu Fetterman. He's uh, he's a reporter, a writer, and he said that this uh, Irvine uh, here in California passed the law against uh, kapodis. And his article is about there's nothing wrong with the ritual slaughter of chickens. So I'm just here to share some education. When you're writing, make sure that you make sense what you're saying. The law is not against kaparis. It's against using chickens for kaparis. That's very important. Uh, the, if you say there's no harm, there's... Uh, but, what, what, uh, I don't know what humans don't have empathy. Even atheists have empathy. And of course, I'm not saying even... Uh, I'm, talk, I'm talking to you and you're, you're living in a, in a little bubble. So I it obviously I use it that way. Because what is an atheist? It's a guy that doesn't believe in your God. Nonsense. But everybody, ha uh, everybody has empathy. So, so how do people chop off people's heads and they mention God when they do it? It's because uh, to shut down, the, the, shut down the, the, the rational thinking is the first step. And then, uh, uh, is in cart, they say in Yiddish. Everything that's it, that can, anything that could go bad will go bad in terms of uh, not playing on the proper full deck, you know, like Altsfus is in cart. Uh, it's uh, anything in the cards, right? Um, so it's, there's nothing, uh, the, the chicken, we could do it with fish, we could do it with money. Obviously, Hashem would be much happier if we did it like that than torture chickens. Uh, the, uh, some people claim it, the, the dead chickens don't go to waste, which is, everybody knows it's trashed. Most of it, they say it goes to poor people. That's another myth. I don't know. The, the, the myth is there because they're trying to protect an old custom, an old tradition. Uh, it's um, the shipping, uh, the, the trucking uh, and the waiting and uh, that the trucks have to wait and, and, and bringing it, delivering the chickens make it more expensive for those chickens to be processed in their worth. They're not going to be worth, they're going to be worth more than the chicken is worth in the store. So it's not uh, stuck anymore. Uh, it's like the Pentagon, when they buy a, 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 a set of screws, they, 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 they cost so much money because they, they have to buy it and they have 20 guys that have to do it and all that. So, um, that's, oh, the chicken is not the original kapotis anyway. The original kapotis is a lamb. If you're not using a lamb, use money. If you're using a chicken, besides that it's rooted in Aveda Zara, the, 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 and, and some ask me, people ask me, is it, uh, is those chickens, is it a, a borrowed from the Christians in medieval Europe? And the answer is no, it's borrowed from pagan cults, but it didn't survive Christianity because Christianity was very organized, state power. Uh, and the Islam also had state power to stamp out any pagan rituals that they weren't interested in. Of course, many of these um, things were borrowed anyway, but they wanted to, st whatever they weren't interested, they stamped out, especially the chickens. Or another thing, why did the Jews not have, uh, uh, why don't we use lambs for kapodis? This is the same reason why we don't use carbonus bachlal. How could you have Yom Kippur without an actual carbon? It's because even though there's some groups, revivalists, that are trying to go back to the ancient practice of, of the temple, is because the Romans, who were very close with many rabbis who survived, they killed out the zealots, so we don't have the Maccabean, Hasmonean family, and all those who believed in the temple and Tum of Atada. We have a, a spiritual religion. Back to the whole spiritual concept. So, so Judaism today is a spiritual practice. So we don't have the, the Karbonis because uh, even some Kehanim had Greek names and Roman names, or, or, or um, like those... Helen, Hellenist names, uh, Flavius Josephus and uh, Alexander Yaneus and guys like that. Hyrcanus, Hyrcanus, not a Hebrew name at all. Uh, he killed out a lot of people. He forced converted groups of people. It was all political power. It was just like ISIS, but instead of uh, being Stalin, it's Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. It's the same shit. It's, it's power for the sake of power, torture for the sake of torture. Uh, and, and nothing good comes of it. It's we, we, how much could history teach us already? So they got the Yidden to stop doing the animal sacrifices because they wanted to put an end to it. So they told, and this is the Jesus movement, uh, of course, Jesus wasn't against animal sacrifices. He just wanted it to be done in the right way. He had some, some protests about it. But the, later the Christian church got rid of it because it was a Roman-based uh, tradition. It's Hebrew-based, but it's borrowed from Romans. It's a mix of both. Roman paganism and uh, Hebrew God, and they mixed it with a God and, the, and a sacrifice, a vicarious redemption, uh, a kapara, a guy that dies for the sins of others. 
I'm going to give you a link below uh, to explain that concept in hi historical terms. Uh, so the chicken is just a, um, it's a pagan from Europe, but the